for just a moment to make sure that we are connected. Good morning, good morning. Happy lunchtime, happy Wednesday. Oh, wonderful, I'm starting to see some eyeballs. Good morning, if you can hear me, please uh, say hello in the comments. Just wanna make sure I can be heard. <laughs> starting to see all the eyeballs. Well, welcome. My name is Mindy Smith and I am an outside recruitment and marketing manager serving Western North Carolina, which includes everything west of Asheville here in North Carolina. And I have the pleasure of working with Girl Scouts Carolina's Peaks of Piedmont. And our council serves 40 counties. Hi, Amanda. Um, our council serves 40 counties spanning across the central and western North Carolina uh, regions. And I am here today in my uh, bed of our local neighborhood community garden, which has been a really fun project during the pandemic. So I'm gonna give you a brief tour of my garden bed and also of our little community garden. Hey Amanda, glad you're here. And folks, um, if you have questions about gardening or if you wanna share some tips for me, because I'm gonna share why I need some tips, um, or share them for others to learn about your gardening, uh, you know, tips and tricks. Um, please share those in the comments of this Facebook Live thread so that we can uh, keep learning together about gardening. But um, I don't know how many of you decided to pick up a fun new hobby during the pandemic since we were all probably spending a little more time at home. Maybe not all of us, but some of us. Um, I decided to try to pick up gardening. Um, it's never been something I've been super great at, but as a Girl Scout, we always want to uh, learn. And as a uh, organization that supports STEM, you know, you're never gonna get it right the first time. So you have to keep trying, which has definitely been my experience with gardening this summer. So my neighborhood actually decided to come together and do a community garden in one of my neighbors. This is her house right here. She has this beautiful, huge yard and she decided to allow, I think there was like 10 of families that came together and we each have our own uh, bed. So here's mine. So you can see um, it's not looking super prosperous. Here's the other side here, which is totally fine. You'll see my lettuce here in a second. Um, but I wanna show you all how to harvest a cucumber, which is fun. This will be my first time ever uh, technically harvesting a cucumber. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put my phone down here next to the cucumber plant and I'll just show you briefly how to walk through. Um, but if you have any questions in the meantime, you can always pop them in the comment section of this Facebook Live and my chat buddy Amanda will be happy to answer those for you. She's also going to share some awesome uh, website links to all of our incredible uh, virtual programs that we're offering uh, right now and also through August. We have uh, incredible virtual summer camp programs. We have a upcoming Girl Scouts Unplugged, so you don't have to get on the computer screen at all. So that's for girls who are not yet involved in Girl Scouting. Um, we would love to see all of you watching us today to engage with us further in all of our programs. So right here, you'll see my lettuce. Let's see, let me get it down here a little bit. I'm trying to get the right screen. Yep, there it is. This is some of my butter lettuce and it is looking mighty yummy. I harvested some of that last week and it has grown back twice the size. So I think that that's very common with lettuce is once you start harvesting it, it's going to, you, you know, you want to pick from the bottom. So you want to pick from the, I'm not going to pick it right now. I'm going to save this for dinner time later and let my husband uh, do some harvesting. But you want to pick from the bottom of the lettuce and it's going to grow back, you know, twice as thick and twice as beautiful. So this is looking really lush. Makes me excited. I've got some other lettuce trying to grow. I'm trying to see if you can see it right on back there. So now let me get to my cucumber. So exciting. All right, I'm gonna have a seat here in my garden and I'm gonna put my, I have a bowl. This is my harvesting bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and set that right here. Thanks Amanda, thanks for sharing all of the fun things. How many of you all like cucumbers? <laughs> so right here, I have my tasty cucumber. 
So you're supposed to harvest cucumbers. You want to have a pair of shears. I don't have shears, so I have my, my nice little you know, arts and crafts um, scissors. So if you're a kiddo, make sure you have a parent or guardian with, with you to help you cut any vines. So normally when you're harvesting a cucumber, um, you want to make sure, like this one's getting a little yellow, so it may be a little more bitter than what we like or what we're used to, but the size is just right. There's a little bit of um, pricklies on them, so you always want to make sure that you are just either wearing gloves or that you're prepared to know that you that you're about to touch some pricklies. And there's also pricklies on the vine, so extra caution there. It's good to have gloves. I'm sorry I didn't have those today. So um, he's plump, he's ready based on his type of cucumber. Um, we also have some pickling, which you'll see. I'm gonna try to pull it up on the screen here. This is one of my pickling cucumbers, so he's almost ready. So normally when you're harvesting your cucumber, you wanna cut the vine about a quarter of an inch up. But he has a very small vine, so I'm just going to cut right on the edge here. Because if I cut it, if I cut further up, he it would have cut the whole vine. And we still have some plantation coming on these guys. So um, here we are. I have my beautiful cucumber. I'm going to try to go home and taste it, see what it tastes like. I'll have to share what it tastes like in the comments here. And I put my my um, scissors back in the bowl just to be safe. So I'm gonna put my cucumber in there. Um, so that is how you harvest a cucumber. You wanna, you know, be careful about the pricklies. And when you go home and you are ready to wash and eat it, you just wanna scrub those pricklies off of the cucumber itself. Um, and now hopefully um, the rest of these little guys that are growing on my plant, maybe they'll grow. Uh, but one thing I wanted to share with y'all is since this is our first summer doing this community garden, uh, we are learning so much. We have so much, cr you know, bad and crazy soil. Uh, so we're trying to um, start thinking and brainstorming as a community together how to get our soil more fertile and, um, you know, things like coffee grounds and, you know, fish emulsions and composting, you know, all the things that we can do um, around the house. You know, every time we eat a salad, if we don't finish it, you know, we put it in the compost. Um, you know, coffee grounds are another big one for good composting. So we're going to use the next couple of months since we didn't have a lot to harvest this summer. You can see all my cute little, you know, green pepper plants. They're trying. This little guy's trying so hard. Um, but we're going to use the next few months to maybe turn our soil over and uh, get some better soil for a fall planting or definitely for a next year summer planting. So if you have any tips, please, please, please share them in the comments. I would love to learn more from everyone. It's definitely been so much fun and very therapeutic to come to the garden. And even if I grow one cucumber, I'm a little bit happy there. <laughs> so girls, I would love to hear about your gardening uh, journeys and experiences. I know a lot of girls plant gardens for food banks and y'all harvest the food and donate that you know for your highest award so I would love to learn some tips and tricks from you all as well because you girls y'all are awesome and you're the experts. Again we would love to see y'all at some of our upcoming programs. You can check them out at beagirlscout.org and also um, our summer camp website is www.camplikeagirl.org and if you have questions, you are always welcome to give us a call Monday through Thursday. Our telephone number is 1-800-672-2148. And our email address, if you have questions and you just want to connect with us over email, our email address is info at girlscoutsp2p.org. And Amanda's put that information in the comments as well. So thanks everyone have a great rest of your summer and uh, we'll see you later on today at four o'clock for some more girl scout fun on facebook take care be well bye bye